Hi friends, welcome to Sada Learning Hub. You are with me, Shada Shora. Today's session, we are going to learn cursors in Java collection framework. Now, collection of uh, cursors. What is the use of cursors? Previously, we have created a collections. Uh, we have previously learned the list interface. Uh, in the list, we have created array list and linker list. These are the uh, implementations classes of list and uh, uh, stack and vector. We have created all these collections. After that, how to iterate, how to display the elements into that uh, collection objects. In that situation, cursors is coming into the picture to print the elements into that collection objects. Collection objects means these are the list uh, list object, uh, array list object, link list object, set object, uh, like this, all these objects, collection objects. We can print the values in the collections objects by using the cursors. In collection framework, there are the three cursors are available. Those are enumeration, iterator and list iterator. These are the three cursors are available in the collection framework. These are all interfaces and enumeration is a legacy cursor which is introduced in 1.0 version onwards. Iterator and list iterator is the latest cursors. Uh, now, if we want to get the objects one by one from the collections, then we should go for the cursors. There are the three types of cursors available in Java. Those are enumerator, iterator and the list iterator. I am going to discuss about enumerator. We can use the enumerator to get the objects one by one from the legacy collection objects. What are the legacy collection objects? Legacy collection objects means there are the vector, stack, those are the legacy collection objects. Under three or more there, which is uh, available in the map. These are the legacy collection objects. The enumerator is used to get the objects one by one from the legacy collection objects. We can create the enumerator object by using the elements method. By using the elements method, enumeration E is equal to V dot elements. Enumeration interface defines the, the following two methods. Those are has more elements and next element. Next element returns the object and has more elements returns the boolean value. Now I can show one example for the enumerator. See here this is the I am creating one class that is the enumerator class. I am creating a main. In this main I am creating an object of vector class. Why because enumeration is only uh, print the elements one by one in the legacy collection so only. Vector is an, a legacy collection. Now I am creating an object of vector class. After that, I am inserting the values into the vector object. I am inserting the elements into the vector object. See here, up to here, I am creating an object of vector. I am inserting into the values into the vector. Now I am printing one by one values from the vector by using the enumeration interface. If see this enumeration e is equal to v dot elements whenever if you are getting the v dot elements it returns the enumeration object now e is an enumeration object i am calling e dot has more elements has more elements means it checks the elements are available in the enumeration or not if it is available it returns true otherwise it returns false now if it is returns true, after that I am writing the some logic into the while loop. I am creating an integer i is equal to new integer. 
uh, integer i is equal to e dot next element. Next element means it returns the element of that uh, vector object. After that, I am checking the i is percentage 2. If it is true, I am printing the value. Otherwise, I am not doing anything. In else part, I am not doing anything. Finally, I am printing the v. This is the part which is used to print the element one by one from the vector object by using the enumeration interface. There are the some limitations are there in the enumeration. We can apply the enumeration concept only for the legacy classes and it is not universal cursor. It is only do the uh, we can apply only for the legacy classes. By using the enumeration we can get only read access. We cannot perform remove operations. In the enumeration we can't uh, it's not possible to delete the elements from the collection object only uh, the, there is a chance to read the elements from the collection object to overcome these limitations some people introduced the iterator concept in the 1.2 version onwards java 1.2 version onwards if you uh, overcome the limitations what the one more iterate uh, the one more cursor is introduced in java 1.2 onwards these uh, the it uh, the cursor is iterator interface next i am going to discuss about iterator interface we can use this iterator to get the objects one by one from the any collection objects we can apply the iterator concept for any collection objects and it is an universal cursor it, its iterator is a universal cur cursor we can use it in legacy collections or it, you can use it in a latest collections while iterating the object by iterator, we can perform both read and remove the operations. We can get the iterator object by using the iterator method of a collection interface. Whenever we are calling the method uh, iterator method, it returns the reference of iterator interface. Iterator interface defines the following three methods. In the iterator interface, there is a uh, three methods are available those are has next next and remove method here has next method returns boolean has next means it checks the uh, elements are available in the collection object or not next method it returns the object means it returns the element of an object remove method means it removes the element from the collection object now i can show one example on this iterator if you see this one this is a class i am creating iterator demo class in this i am writing the main method in the main method i am creating a array list object in this array list object i am inserting the values into the array list by using the for loop uh, here i am adding the 1 to 10 uh, numbers into the array list object I am printing the array list. Now I am iterating. I am printing the one by va one value. I am printing the some value. I am printing the va some values based on logic of the uh, under removing the some elements into the array list by using the iterator interface. Here I am creating an object of iterator interface reference of iter iterator interface by using by calling the method of iterator method by using the method iterator method a a is an object of array list collection object dot iterator method returns an inter uh, reference of iterator interface i am calling the method has next element it checks whether the elements are available into the array list or not if it is available it returns true otherwise it returns false now i am calling the next method of an iterator interface whenever you are calling the next method it returns the element of uh, array list now i am checking that element by using uh, it is divided by two or not if it's divided by two i'm printing that element otherwise i'm removing from the array list by using the remove method 
itr dot remove iterator reference dot remove method uh, it does remove from the remove element from the array list finally i am printing the uh, array list object here also iterator also some limitations are there those are both enumeration and iterator we are single direction cursors only there is no chance to iterate the multiple directions we can do only a single direction that is we can always move only forward direction and we can't move in the backward directions while iterating by iterator we can perform only read and remove operations and we cannot perform any replacement and addition of a new objects to overcome these limitations some people introduced the list iterator concept see here in this uh, iterator there is a three lim uh, two limitations are available one is we can navigate only forward directions it is not possible to uh, navigate the bidirectional and one more point is there is no updating and adding the elements into the collection object these are the two limitations are available in the iterator interface to overcome this problem some people are introduced into the list iterator concept next i am going to discuss about list iterator list iterator is the child iterator of an iterator by using the list iterator we can remove either the forward direction or to be a backward directions that is it is a bidirectional cursor list iterator is the bidirectional cursor while iterating by it a list iterator we can perform replacement and addition of a new objects in addition to read the remove the operations by using the list iterator method we can create the list iterator object whenever we are calling the collection object dot list iterator it ret it returns the list iterator object there are the nine methods are available in the list iterator these are the nine methods are available in the list iterator has next next and next index these are all three methods is used to navigate the forward directions next has previous previous and previous index these four to six methods is used to navigate the backward directions these are the general methods used to remove the elements and set the element and the add the element into the list iterator now i can show one example here on the list iterator see here in this exam uh, in this example i am creating a class called list iterator demo in the this is the main method in this main method i am creating a link list object see this link list object i am adding the some elements into the link list object after that i am printing the link list object now i am iterating the link list object by using the list iterator by using the list iterator now list iterator itr is equal to link list object dot list iterator whenever we are calling the list iterator method uh, it returns the list iterator object now i am doing the forward direction in this forward direction i am using the has next method the has next method is checks whether the elements is available in the link list or not if it is available it returns to otherwise it returns the false next i am calling the itr dot next whenever we are calling the itr dot next it returns the elements from the list link list now after that i am come uh, equal the uh, that element with the different text if it is equal i am removing the elements from the link list object otherwise i am doing nothing i am doing the nothing in the else part after the finally i am printing the link list see here if s dot equals of winky if you are putting dot equals it is the do, doing something now 
I am using different methods here equals of method I am setting something here this is also method it is available in the um, comparing met with this one if it is available I am setting Sada learning hub I am replacing with this one I am setting something see this this is the creation of link list this is the forward iteration of the link list by using the list iterator finally I am printing the link list object now I am next I am going to discuss about comparison of enumerator and a iterator and the list iterator if you are going with the Based on I am uh, comparing these uh, three iterate cases by using the some properties The property number one it is the legacy Enumerator is works only in the legacy Iterator it doesn't work in the legacy frameworks and a list iterator also it doesn't work in the legacy frameworks It is applicable for only legacy collection framework enumerator only applicable for legacy collection framework and uh, iterator only applicable for any collection objects and the list iterator is only applicable for only list objects and uh, movement is the property movement the movement single direction cursor only at uh, the enumeration moves only the single direction and uh, iterator moves only the forward direction only and list iterator moves forward direction and backward directions means it is a bi-directional next how to get it how to get the elements from the collection object if you are coming with the enumeration by using the elements method and if you are go with the iterator by using the iterator method if you are going with the list iterator by using the list iterator method the next property is accessibility in the enumerator there is a uh, chance only read the elements from the collection object if you uh, come to the iterator there is a chance to read and remove operations and if you are going to the list iterator there is a chance read remove replace and add there is a chance to do the four operations methods in the enumeration there is a only two methods are available those are hash more elements has more elements and the next element if you come to the iterator there is a three methods are available those are has next method next method and a remove method if you come to the legacy sorry list iterator there is a three methods uh, nine methods are available finally there is a finally in the collections three courses are available those are the enumeration and iterator and the list iterators enumeration is the legacy and the list and list iterator iterator and the list iterator is the new things uh, uh, it is available in java 1.2 version onwards these are the some properties and their uh, uh, comparisons for the enumeration iterator and the list iterator Thank you so much watching this video. Hope this lesson helpful to you. Keep watching our lessons. Keep writing to us. Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.